Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video we are going to be making some French toast. Yep, you heard it, French toast. I'm going to be using some sliced brioche bread, the best bread for French toast. If not this, the other perfect bread would be the chala bread, but I have this on hand, so we're going to be using that today. And as usual, the ingredients, the specific amounts will be in the description below. So here I have three eggs, heavy cream, some vanilla, and here I have my sugar, cinnamon, and over here, it's a small amount, but there's some nutmeg. Okay, let's get to mixing. So here, I'm gonna add the, uh, the spices. Now, the heavy cream. The vanilla. Okay, let's give this a mix. There's nothing like a good old French toast, especially in the mornings on a Sunday. Or well, sometimes just because if you're a breakfast person and you can eat breakfast all day, comment it below and let me know. Okay, so that looks about right. You don't want your mix to be too runny because it'll just soak into the bread and make it soggy in the middle. And that wouldn't be good. Unless you like it like that, then, you know, have it your way. But this mix is ready, and now we are going to be adding the bread. Okay, so it's time to put this French toast together. All right, so first you want to start off by making sure your grill, or if you're using a frying pan, that it's already preheated. Then you want to add your butter. Okay, you want to make sure that the butter is everywhere that you're going to be putting your French toast slices. Okay. Remember, here's the mix that we made earlier for the French toast. So now I'm going to be placing my French toast in it, letting the excess drip off. Okay, there's one. And there's two. You want to kind of do a quick flip on them because you don't want this liquid to soak into the bread so it doesn't be soggy. I'm sure you're not going to like a soggy piece of French toast. I know I don't. <laughs> okay, so we're going to let that cook and when it's time to flip, I'll be right back. It's time to make that flip. Oh, that's going to be good. I know those edges are crispy. Ah. Okay. Nice. All right, so that'll be done in about another two minutes. You don't want to let it go too much. 
because you don't want to overcook it. Okay, I'll be back when it's time to plate these bad boys up. And these are done, so I'm going to take these off and we'll plate them up. Okay, so here's the stack of four of fridge toast that we just made. And I'll give you a different view of it. Got those crispy edges that are going to taste wonderful in every bite. And here I have some strawberry compote that I made in my last video. I'll put the link to this video in the description below. So we are going to be using that for this French toast here. Okay, let's add a little of that on. Put as much as you like on here. Put as little as you like on here. Okay. And to that, we're going to hit it with some uh, confectioner's sugar. You know, some food glitter. Make it look pretty. And with this, you can put as much as or as or as little as you like. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. I think that's enough. And we're going to top it off with some whipped cream. Whoa. And there you have it. French toast with a strawberry compote and some whipped cream. So that's the end of this video, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos. And in the comment section below, let me know how I'm doing. That looks amazing. Look at that. Mm. Okay, guys. See you in my next video.